by the time this video goes up i would have already i hope given the two people and maybe more the gift vouchers from pick and pay i've decided to buy them at pick and pay you told me guys in the comments in my previous video that there there is a virtual voucher service um that is available and i went on their website and i checked and i found that you can get a virtual voucher so i did decide to buy them at pick and pay so by the time the video goes up i would have already given them to those people i've asked for extra hands you know on instagram um for people to help me so we could give to a lot more than two people so hopefully by the time this video goes up we would have at least given to more than two people and i think also you guys maybe some of you may have misunderstood the 5k giveaway um i think you some of you guys may thought that i was gifting like i was buying a voucher for five thousand and that is not the case but it was five thousand subscribers giveaway you know maybe i didn't communicate it properly but it was not five thousand rands voucher but a five thousand subscribers giveaway so i didn't communicate how much the vouchers were gonna cost but i had decided that i was gonna do a thousand and then split it into two so yeah just to clear that air so People that are gonna get those vouchers will be getting a 500 rands voucher from Pick and Pay. I will not be sharing like the details or anything like that. Um, but do trust me, guys. Get the 500 voucher sale. So yeah. Um, but thank you so much to everyone that has, you know, reached out and given me, you know, like an extra cash on the side so I could consolidate and get those vouchers. It really, really means a lot, and I'm sure that it would even mean much more to the people that are gonna receive those vouchers so i really really appreciate it so thank you so much again you guys i can never thank you enough i really really appreciate it hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video so this is episode two of happily ever matole yes guys i decided to give this series a name and that hashtag is actually a hashtag that we used when we got married in 2018 no actually when we celebrated our union because we got married in 2016 but that'll be a story that will still come along with the other stories that i'm gonna do with this series so yeah i decided to give this series a name and therefore this is episode two and as you guys saw i'm gonna be telling you guys about our first date and today i have a cup of black rebos tea with honey and i also stole leruo's mari biscuits so <laughs> so i stole them on my way to record i was just gonna have tea but like she was having biscuits so i stole one i'm just sitting on my bed today because you know i'm trying to get comfortable and so yeah we can you know chat about me and my husband's first date so i hope you're gonna enjoy this video so our first date happened in our first was it our first year of um of our relationship yeah i think it was our first year our second year of our relationship i can't remember but i do want to add our pictures because we do have like old pictures so i'm going to add our pictures so you guys can have a good laugh you know and see how far i've come <laughs> in terms of looks and taking care of myself and knowing how to dress properly guys it's been a journey like it's been a journey but you guys will see but yeah our first date happened between the first or second year of our relationship and it was during school holidays um because remember i told you i don't know if i did mention in the first episode that i, I stayed in the val my hometown he stayed in soweto at the time so obviously we couldn't see each other during school holidays and it was it was torture to be honest with you guys it was really really torturous so yeah we planned our first date and we decided to go to gold Rift city or oh, he he decided that <laughs> we should go to gold Rift city so i mean at that time also my parents didn't know about him or that i was yeah they didn't know about him and the only person that did know about him was my sister and the only reason my sister knew about him at that time was because i needed someone to accompany me to joburg because guys like growing up i was so scared of traveling alone especially to joburg 
like i used to be so scared of jo of going to Jobek in the cbd so in any event um yeah my sister knew because i had to ask her to take me to Jobek, and so yeah i told her the truth that i'm gonna meet a boy and you'll see him he's cute <laughs> and all of that stuff so we had to come up with a plan to lie to my mom about where we were going so my sister said no it's fine nah. <laughs> I'll tell my mom that I need to go somewhere. I need to go to Joburg to buy some stuff. I'm collecting some stuff. I can't even remember the exact story. But now, uh, when we told my mom, I was the one that was accompanying my sister to Joburg. So later after that, I got to find out that my mom actually like had her doubts about that whole story. She knew. Oh, I'll get to that part. I'll get to that part. Anyway, so yeah, we had to lie to my mom. My sister told her, no, because I don't know what she was fishing from Joburg or what she was going to buy. But anyway, I was accompanying my sister to Joburg. So we went and then we took taxis. My sister didn't, didn't have a car at that time. So we took taxis and, um, excuse me. My outfit guys, you'll see from the pictures I'm gonna post here. I was wearing a Cavela guys. That's why I wanted to share the story of the Cavela, but now I feel like it's going to be it's not gonna fit in anywhere because I'm sort of like doing a series and I like to structure how I do my videos. I plan how I want to upload them or which one will go first. So it's now not gonna make sense. But anyway, I was wearing a Cavela guys and I looked like <laughs> but like you guys will judge from the pictures my hairstyle also oh my god but anyway i thought i looked hot and that's all that matters okay so yeah we took a taxi my sister and i we went to Joburg, and then we got to gandhi square and oh that was where we were gonna meet at gandhi square because like we thought it was a central place and stuff we went and then my sister <laughs> when we got to gandhi square Katloho, was already there yeah he was already there so and then he approached us and then i introduced my sister hey this is the boy i was talking to you about i was telling you about and then they met and then my sister was like okay peace i'm out so my sister and the plan was that she was gonna leave um no she was gonna like hang around town and shop until i'm done and then i was gonna meet her somewhere in town i think gandhi square i think we decided on gandhi square i can't remember exactly but the plan was that she was gonna hang around Joburg until i'm done and then we were gonna meet and go back home together because obviously it's not gonna make sense to my mom why my sister's not coming back home alone hi but obviously miguel is having too much fun go go to city i don't wanna let go of my man so my sister had to go back home by herself but we'll get there so fine my sister drops me well leaves me and then i then meet with katleho and yeah so we went and you know we had fun we went on rides i think we ate at wimpy and then we got some ice cream it was all nice so yeah obviously i forgot about i was having so much fun with him that i forgot about the arrangement that i had made with my sister about like when i was gonna finish with my boyfriend so i ended up calling him like Miguel, like it's too much fun here it's too lit so i think that you should go home by yourself <laughs> you know so so my sister's like what are we gonna tell mom because obviously we told her that um you are coming with me to Joburg, home village so i'm like i don't know um and then you know we're trying to think of a story and i was like no you know actually tell her that we came back home together but i went past and i went to go see my friend got beverly hills if you're from the valley you'll know which is where i come from and then they go past the mall towards like beverly beverly hills and then and then they go past the mall towards like beverly hills side so i told my sister that no you tell her that you got off and then not fit like a taxi call over my friends so my sister was like okay cool i'll tell her that i'm like okay good sharp but then my sister went home and then obviously that was the story she told my mom <laughs> and we later found out like i said earlier that my mom knew that these two think i am a kid they think i'm a child these two they think i don't know they think i don't see it that they're trying to play me but my mom knew shem she says she knew that 
I was with a boy and she suspected from the beginning <gasps> but anyways oh and also the reason my mom suspected was because the night before we kept asking her mama candy square how feels like candy square how do you get to candy square from Joba? you know like <laughs> we wanted to know how you get to Gandhi Square. Hey, Gandhi Square. My mom knew Jobek. Like, she knows Jobek in and out, guys. She knows it from the start to the finish. So, she was the best person to tell us how to get to Gandhi Square. Hi, okay. We asked her, and she was like, No, you take a taxi there, and then you'll get off, and whatever, whatever. Okay, cool. So, yeah, actually, then for a long, very long time, my husband's name <laughs> at the time was Gandhi Square. They called him Gandhi Square <laughs> because of that situation. Um, I actually think that they started changing and calling him, by, calling him by his real name. I think only when we got married. But, like, they got used to calling him Gandhi Square. Like, every time we spoke about my boyfriend, they'd refer to him as Gandhi Square. I think they only started calling him by his name like very very late in our relationship so for the longest time he was gandhi square because of that story so okay fine my, mom, my sister then tells my mom okay next you look at taxi whatever Shut. so now i carry on having fun with my man and um but like my toes i remember my toes were burning because i was wearing a leather cavela a red guys so you can imagine and it was scotching hot because it was jan yes it was jan and varsity used to open gafeb yeah it was around january so it was very very hot i was wearing a cavela <laughs> guys my toes were so 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 sore and but like you know what I took it in and I just like told myself that I'm having fun so I'm not even gonna show this guy that you know I'm in pain um, I'm just gonna take it as it comes I'm gonna take this pain as it comes and we're just gonna go with it so yeah and then um, it was all good and well and then he then took me home I can't even remember how I got home guys oh we took a taxi to Southgate together and then from Southgate then I took a taxi to my place and yeah that's how it happened so i got home um i think around maybe six ish or five maybe just after six so it wasn't too late i got home and then my mom was just like looking at me like hmm. but when i got home i didn't tell my mom Jorge, where i was or what had happened so that was our first date you guys it was not fancy it was special because i had missed them and we hadn't seen each other for a while and we just wanted to, to be together but like it was a mess because we couldn't even like sit down to have a proper conversation because we are on rides and you know it's hard i think the only time we got to sit and speak was when we had the the lunch at wimpy but it was still special i mean i was just i was with him and that's all that mattered and yeah that was our first date it was very special you guys i enjoyed it but for today that's it you guys i hope you did enjoy this video if you did give it a big thumbs up comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you have, haven't done so already and i'll see you guys on my next one keep well and take care of yourselves you guys love you so much and i'll see you very soon bye